Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to draw a really cute popcorn. So we're gonna start off with our popcorn base, which is the box. I'm gonna draw an inward slant, one on this side, one on that side, and I'm gonna draw a line going across, like so. And then on top I'm gonna do little V's on top, just for the top of the box. And I'm gonna switch over to a smaller marker for our popcorn. So for the popcorn, all I'm going to do is do kind of like circles, but like half circles. So we're going to do a bunch of half circles that are kind of connected. You can see it kind of looks like a cotton ball, kind of. And that's kind of how popcorn looks, right? What flavor of popcorn is your favorite, guys? I think my favorite is probably the cheese but the orange cheese kind I love the orange cheese kind of popcorn and I love movie theater popcorn it's like so good with the butter okay guys I think that that's pretty full let me do one more piece over here okay awesome now we're gonna draw our face it's gonna be two circles again and we're gonna draw our circle within our circle we're gonna make this one kind of cross-eyed <laughs> And we're gonna draw our moon in the corner here. And we're gonna fill in between, just like so. There's a lot of good movie theater snacks. I love milk duds, and I love even those little fruit gummy snacks you get in the kids pack, that's so good. Even though I'm not a kid, I still like it. We're gonna draw eyelashes. And then we're gonna draw a little smile here. We're going to draw a little bit different smile. It's going to be kind of like a U with a line across going across the top. And then inside to make the tongue we're going to draw an upside down U. There you go. And then we're going to draw two little smiley marks. Alright. Just draw, draw the cheeks. Two circles. And one more thing, last but not least, we're going to draw our lines for our popcorn box. So we're just going to draw them around what we already have. And when you draw these lines, they don't really need to be straight, but they need to be, they do need to be straight, but they need to go in a slant too on the side. So you see how they all kind of point towards this middle direction? You want to keep them kind of evenly spaced, but as you get towards the bottom, they come in a little bit more. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Now it's time to color.